Holiday nonprofit organizations are asking for help in supplying Christmas presents to families in need. Fox 13 News reporter Sarah Murphy met with two groups who say this is the lowest number of donations and volunteers they've ever seen. I was here on Thanksgiving for five hours filling packs. A busy holiday season. So there was no sit at home, make dinner, and enjoy the goodness of dinner. With lots of personal sacrifice that becomes a gift to others. It's been a really hard year for our family. And so these, these programs really do matter. <clears throat> and for these parents that are working so hard, it does give us a break to let us know that our kids can still enjoy Christmas. But it's an impact that's becoming a bit trickier to deliver this year. This year's a lot slower. Um, I would say that we're kind of behind on the amount of gifts um, compared to previous years. This is girls three to five and that area is hurting for toys. Holiday nonprofit organizations like Cash Valley Toys for Tots and Santa's Secret Gift Shop. One of the main ways that people can donate, they can go onto our Amazon wish list. Are reporting a decrease in donations and volunteers. As you can see, we still need a lot of help. It makes me sad. Some nights it keeps me up at night that I want to help more, but I can't because my hands are tied. To put things into perspective, Melanie says that at this time last year, each kid was able to get around four stocking stuffers. But this year, that number's been cut in half. And now, they'll each only receive two. People, you know, who were able to help last year are now finding themselves in need this year. So I just think with inflation, um, you know, grocery prices, rent increases, gas prices, I just think it's been a difficult year um, all around for a lot of people. I can barely feel the orders that are coming in of how bad I'm hurting on toys. Volunteers say they're wanting to help others like they've been helped themselves. I was in this predicament and I was hurting to give my kids a Christmas when I divorced my husband. So this touches my heart. Sarah Murphy, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, both Toys for Tots and Santa's Secret Gift Shop say you can continue to donate throughout the entire month.